hit the drum. Did he change the curtain? Oh, this is much worse! They freaking changed the curbs! What, sorry? That's way worse! Hold on, hold on. Why is it like that? Come on. But look at this! Look at this! Talking about freaking sausage! What is that? Did they... Is that really what they're going to really use for this weekend? That looks so stupid! That looks nothing like the freaking one from Charlotte now! Freaking sausage, more like goddamn potato is what that is. What's going on, guys? Grim Cracker Game here, back with another video. Uh, small irate, irating buddy here. And today, I'm, I'm basically gonna be doing some videos on the Daytona, Daytona Road Course. So last week they, they put out the uh, layout for NASCAR. Uh, Daytona layout of what the cars that this weekend are going to be running on for Daytona with a chicane a added probably in the worst place possible so uh, I did it so I went out and did a little spending <laughs> hobbies are quite ex quite expensive <laughs> goodbye dollars I'll never see you again <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I went went and did a little spending. I decided to get the uh, the Daytona Daytona yeah the 2011 version of the Daytona International Speedway, or basically just the current version. I guess you just call it that. I guess as well as the as the Arkham Menards car, which I won't be racing that because that's basically still around the same horsepower as a. <clears throat> Gen 4 Cup car, pretty much. The Gator Outdoor Silverado, the X, the current X20 car, and then the NAS, and then the yeah, the NASCAR Cup car, pretty much. The Gen, the current Gen 6 car, and I'm going to be running these, <clears throat> um, basically the regular layout that the Rolex 24 is ran on, as well as the current. Uh, NASCAR layout. I like how you just go into it and it just says NASCAR Road. Couldn't have been more specific enough, huh? But basically, I'm pointing. I don't message you. But basically, I'm just pointing out that <clears throat> basically this chicane is basically just added in for basically no. Which basically just added in for no freaking reason whatsoever. That's all I could say. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. I even watched the Coca Cola E NASCAR race. Um, when was that? I watched it thir what was it last night, I think, Thursday, of when this is being recorded. <clears throat> but it was it happened yes uh, Tuesday, but I watched it yesterday of when this is being recorded. Um. But yeah, I'm basically just going to point this out of what to basically expect and what <clears throat> why this is basically a kind of a nuisance of why of basically not a nuisance, why am I saying basically this, this chicane should never have happened, that's all I could say. And I'm going to point it out in this video, so let, we'll get right into it. Alright, so first is the NASCAR Gannon Outdoor Truck 
the truck series truck. <laughs> I used to just say NASCAR truck. <clears throat> but this is the, the one I'm doing is with the Silverado. I'm not because I'm a Chevy guy, so. <laughs> but um, but so this is the first one. No chicane, as you can see. I'm on the exit of turn four. Um, and looks like the way I'm doing is uh, 153. I want to say this is my best. <clears throat> um, don't expect any laps from like NASCAR heat. <laughs> from actual guys that race these um, throughout. Um, but yeah. Oh, shoot. I should have turned my ghost car off before it starts. Oh, well. It don't matter. But anyway, so... So this is the first one. Let's get to it. Also, pretty much I lowered my rear end down. Ooh. That was over. Also, you see the bar to the far... Far left, you don't see that being touched the rest of the time. And I'm touching that clutch. So I'm going to be doing two laps here because my <laughs> ghost truck does on already. So this is going to be a lot of wheel hobbing because I am not good at. <clears throat> not the best with. Ooh, okay, what is <laughs> ghost truck, ghost car doing? Well, I'm not the best when it comes to... Uh, <clears throat> I can't even get around what I was trying to say. <clears throat> I'm not the best when it comes to downshifting without the clutch. When it comes to these. I'm just using the throttle so it's going to wheel have a lot as I almost missed the corner. Jeez. Yeah, for some reason this truck is does not like uh, I might be taking it uh oh okay <laughs> I might have the gearing maybe a little too high I'm not sure but maybe. now that you just stop spinning out So I start, as soon as I start trying to fucking record and do something with it, it wants to, I want, it wants to just take me for a ride. Uh, 
Alright, so let's try to make this a little better lap than what we the way it was. And right now be it. So I'll come back through again. Hopefully this will be a little better. Famous last words. <clears throat> come up to the top. Sorry about downshifting. A little wide on that. Throttle. Oh, where are we going? What? <clears throat> the hell happened here? Did I slip on the curb? I did. Oh, we got one on it. And that seems a little better, right? I, I lowered the, gear, the rear end a little, so that should be a little better. Now I can take it 100. No, no, maybe not. I don't have the turning for it. She handles like a badger. I lowered the rear end a little bit more, so this should help a lot more. So let's try this again. <clears throat> Might be slow, but I'm not entirely sure. Still looks like we're going close to 180 miles an hour. As I was say, is I wheel hop. So I gotta be careful that the curb is on. Yeah, those cars trying to whack out. Oh yeah, that's better, that's much better. Okay, that's much better. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm trying this again. It looks like top speed for these trucks are like 108 miles an hour with, with an, with the, without the chicane. As we head down to the bus stop chicane. I can kind of take it out on you, but it <laughs> doesn't have enough <laughs> downforce out of front. Compared to like me, like an X mini car, but I don't know. I don't know, I have to race. Well, let's see in a way we can get to it. <clears throat> so coming back through again, the ghost car is basically beating us. And it's still a minute 53. Somehow I missed that. Okay. So that's a good enough again. So we'll go on with the with the chicane now. What why is it doing that now? It's because they have OBS open or something. Why? Why racing? Why are you doing this to me? Uh, that's great. Not really. I really wish I could. Oh, it's like that. Hi, racing. What are you doing? All right. So <clears throat> now we're on the uh, version of it with the chicane. As you can see, the little left hander down there. But. <clears throat> And now we're going to see how it is with the chicane, with these trucks. Um, I don't even think there's any bit, I mean, any real leagues that have been covering this, but there is. Uh, someone can let me know. Also, something I noticed while I was practicing, and I'll show you as we get going. 
So I didn't realize. I didn't even see updated the curbs on this. See that? You see that? Those are the current curbs. That is what they're going to be racing with this weekend. What the? F oh, so we're going to start a lap here. So, so I was playing because you know, it's the first time we've seen that. That's, that kind of just seems dumb. Also, I forgot to turn my ghost card off again. But, but what is the point of that? Like, the freaking ones from Charlotte were fucking, were okay. Were okay. You just, NASCAR and Daytona just made it worse. Freaking sausage, and not more than now a freaking potato. Well, of course, they also did a lot of updates to this thing. Now I'm thinking about it. But, other than that, so we're back on the Nike. So I think with the chicane now, it should be 170 miles an hour, unless they changed it from the one I seen it last. Oh, too fast to that. And we got yield. That's the only other time you're going to see me using clutch on this. No, I didn't realize they changed the chicane, the chicane's curving. That just seems really stupid. Alright, going up. Oh, yeah, I Five! Uh, see what I mean? I can't tell that I did any damage to my truck. I don't think it does. Like, yeah, that's really what they're going to race with? I see NASCAR just basically living up to their expectations of trying to create more wrecks. Also, they're, oh, they're not going to be practicing for this. There's no practicing and qualifying whatsoever. We're just going to go out and race. Acting like NASCAR, acting like they know the place, and when they freaking don't. Especially when the, with these heavy stop cars. Because it's so, like, you can kind of get away with it a little with the, the Arca and trucks. Well, more Arca, because Arca is real slow. I think what, when even with the old steel body Gen 4 looking cars, they were still like... Because I seen a race back in like 2008 when they ran New Jersey Motorsports Park. And it seemed like they were more, like, just slightly slower than what... Um, even the trucks at Canadian Tire, I think, were... Or even something like... Um, I guess the best place to compare it to would be... Uh, Cup with the Gen 4s at Sonoma would be something like that. Even with that, they looked like they were more slower than that. But jeez! Like, this is completely stupid! Man, this is basically begging for Rex. And again, and again. Okay, you need to back down way lot. Before you could just break it at like five or four, like five and make it. Now you gotta back it up to like six or seven. Alright, I'm gonna do one more lap. What? Hey, 
Wait a minute. And can we just... Them. Might freaking rip your splinter right off if you're not careful. So you used to be able to, with the old curves, you used to be able to take that line and be able to just and be able to still run that and not screw it up your lap. Now you can't. You basically very much have to arc it. It, ba it forces you to arc it. What? Okay, so now we're back at, <clears throat> back on the regular Daytona, Daytona layout. With, this time with the current Xfinity Chevy Camaro. And this thing Probably is a little bit more forgiving than the trucks, and I want to say it's slightly what the um, cup cars. I want maybe like arrow wise. I want to say um, you do have to still have to back up the corners a lot, which is something I should have been doing with the trucks. I'll admit that. Um, but yeah, but he's got. He's got the low downforce package, I think, is what they have. So they still got the small spoiler, but I don't know if that affects it at all. But I just ran, but I ran two little couple of practice laps, but we'll see how it goes. So same deal with the NASCAR truck. I'm not gonna touch that clutch the rest of the time. More RPMs this time. Let's go to start the lap. I'm gonna have to turn my ghost car off again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, slight travel to the S's. I think these are a little slightly forgiving when it comes to the wheel hot because a lot of x ray drivers don't even use the clutch, so they're more forgiving when it comes to not using the clutch. I'm gonna go to the second gear to the kink. Practically around 180 miles an hour. Um, with no chicane or anything, pretty much. Oh shit. I need to do that. What is this, that ghost car doing? So, break a little earlier. I think it's. Oh, oh god. Get a little off track a little. Out of the chicane, out of the bus stop chicane. Back on the. Straight away on the NASCAR 3 and 4. Up the gears. You can see no chicane, you can keep it right on the bottom. But the gears, this can go 190. Oh god, let's finish that. Alright, break that. Before it has to start the finish line. She uh, hop in there. for the curves. 200. Oh, no, shoot a little because it will hop a little. I don't get my timing right when it comes to doing that. Oh, don't correct. Okay. Should say over, don't overcorrect. 
The course is pretty easy, but when you give a car that's got lots of horsepower and no freaking aerodynamics whatsoever, or no downforce is what I should say, it makes me really freaking handle a car and basically have to drive it like a group C car just about. <laughs> and these don't even have turbos! That uh, kind of a early, early shift there. smoother through the bus stop. Oh, we'll slide and spin. Like I said, these laps aren't going to be the best. That's all I can say. I'm not really good with these cars. I know I've had uh, quite a bit of practice ever since getting these. We'll start climbing. Turn one, one more lap. Again, we see through the S's. Kind of get to a little bit of a way I wanted it, but oh well. Whoa! And we're done. <laughs> nope. As soon as you just spin out like that, nope, you're done. <laughs> Okay, hey, so now we're back on the NASCAR version of the Day of Daytona with the uh, Xfinity car. And apologies. Oh, so I think they figured out figured out a little bit with it with the chicane. It looks like you can maybe slightly get get away with uh, maybe going through it in second gear. That's what it seems like. I will try to do another lap, probably my last lap, but I'll try to take it with the, take it in first gear to see how that goes, but it seems more like you gotta take it in second gear, what it seems like. But anyway, let's go through it. So starting the lap, here we go. I turned my freaking ghost car off. A little bit of a wheel hop. Okay. So take it nice and smoothly. Use it through the S's. Wheel hopping a lot in this. One thing I'm still not 100% sure of doing is taking the kink in third. So do it like that for now. I'll do it in third the next one. Maybe a little bit of wheel spin. So these do about 170, I think. 170, 180 going towards the the last stretch chicane. Okay, a little bit of a short shift right there. Going through, heading to the bus stop. A little bit more forgiving, a little bit in the chicane. Wheel spin. Now it seems like this too, I'm gonna have to take it high when, right towards the wall when I get to the end of it. 
So I'll come up here. Should break a little bit more, so that's my fault. Back to the gears again. I know, I know, I'm not the best when it comes to downshifting without clutch, so. when it comes to my timing, that's the thing. I'm going to try in third gear. Not too bad, not too bad. Still fucking up here and there! Oh, that could have been bad. Freaking wheel spin in that corner. again like we were early like this past part. Okay. Oh as soon as I say that we'll hop. There we go. And two oh one. You know at least I'm in two oh two. <laughs> nice actual clean lap for once. Okay, and last but not least, I think the miles an hour I think coming to the chicane is like two one eighty. Uh let me check. 
170. And that's not even without the draft. And that's without the draft. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if that was done when I hit the curb the first time. <laughs> Hold on, let's take a look at that. Uh, wait, what lap was that? Oh, I had some damage while I was doing my practice laps. So, yeah, I think it was this one. Yep, yeah, it was this one. Oh, shoot, and... So oh my god! NASCAR, Daytona, what are you trying to pull with this? You have to back that up way lot, and it's not even going to be anything good for passing. Because you just tear your car up. What the f***? And now we have the... The 2019-2020... Chevy, actually the 2020 I should call it, the 2020 Chevy Camaro Z01 uh, NASCAR Cup car. The same, the car, one of these cars raced at the, the current NASCAR road course last Tuesday night in the uh, NAS, NASCAR E Coca Cola series. And this is and the, basically the same car that basically won the race that night. And these guys are kind. Of, this one is di different compared to the trucks and Xfinity. Um, these do have the higher down, a bit of a higher downforce package. And they don't have any low downforce like they normally do at no most road courses, but they still do pretty much a lot of speed. They basically do as much as a. Um, as a DPI car at Daytona, usually with a car that basically has more downforce than the NASCAR Cup car, than a NASCAR car, let's say that. Um, they do have better brakes, though, is what it seems like, and they're more forgiving when it comes to wheel hopping. So that's some ops. So let me just get into it. Off the clutch. And something I didn't mention while I was sitting with the x ray cars, I'll use the clutch all. <laughs> something I didn't mention with the x ray cars, as we started a lap, I'm, I'm watching uh, a lot of the old NASCAR rain races that have been done in the x ray series, from the first one at Montreal in 2008 to practically watch it tomorrow, about all the way up to the 2016 mid-Ohio race pretty much when x ran all those races in the rain. <laughs> the only reason I'm mentioning this is because I've heard a rumor that there is 60% chance of rain for when NASCAR races here. I might put I might put the time a little too a little too like late blah blah blah. But yeah, I've heard it's supposed to have a little wet weather for the cup race on Sunday. Hell, maybe, hell, maybe we can <laughs> a little bit for the truck race too. Since the truck race is Sunday, Sunday at noon, right before the cup race. So, <laughs> well, maybe we're going to be able to see NASCAR the Cup Series first rain race in the rain and it comes at their first race and freaking Daytona Road Course with no practice man remind people who are watching us as we go through the bus stop chicane on the NASCAR 3 and 4 start watching that speedometer see how fast you start going I could have break the road lane, but oh well. 
we'll do that next time. So a little better, a little better. Try to get a little easy on the throttle so we're not getting all wheel spin. Oh, wheel hopping. It had to go wide. focus on doing all my, hit all my marks. Yep, see that's why. Oh! That is why. Oh, they got as much freaking Freaking speaker wheel spin as much as a freaking Group C, Group Six, or old F1 car with with a freaking turbo. These don't even have turbos. Oh God, let's not get NASCAR thing. They might actually do it. See, Arca cars with a freaking little 2.4 liter engine with twin twin turbos or something. Oh God. And there's a possibility of NASCAR or cup cars putting in freaking um, hybrid systems in with the freaking Gen 7 car. So we don't know yet. Let's not hope it freaking does. As you get to turn one, yeah, somewhere around there. Jeez. All right, so let's just get on with the abomination that is the chicane. Okay, so now we're in with the cup, cup car on the Na NASCAR road course for Daytona. And I just say I ran over the curb twice. I mean, actually, how you're supposed to hit it, but holy jeez. I think it picks you up more than even Charlotte's uh, freaking potato turtle curbs. It's, it's crazy. That's all I can say. It's just. 
I don't even know why it's. A, I don't even know why he switched to these ones. For the ones from Charlotte were just fine. It was just fine, and then they made him worse. All right, well let's just get this lap in, and then I'll give my full review on what I think of this stuff. On what? I'll give my full review of what NASCAR and Daytona are thinking with this. Look at these sausage, sausage. Here we go. I was able to post a 158 and want some of my test runs of it, so. Let's see if we can't try to beat it, but I had I highly doubt we won't. No wheel spin, no wheel spin, no wheel spin. through the kink. Well, I didn't get the throttle in right. Uh, no, no wheel spin. Stop wheel spinning. There we go, back on the super straightaway. On the super speedway, whoops. I can't English. Uh, uh, at 81 miles an hour, I'd probably be lower, probably in the 70s. Alright, I'm gonna take it low and then go high like I usually do, and the next one I'm gonna go right straight for the wall. Rim ride it. Oh! That overshot it. I can't even find a gear. I couldn't even find a gear. What the hell? Well, that was kind of bull. Let's try this again. That was a little too slow. Too high, we're shooting it. That's not good. And it's fine. That is great. Thank you. Thank you. Can you. Wait, where's my wheel? That way. Where's my wheel at? <laughs> I couldn't see. I couldn't tell where my wheel was. Well, that was kind of a uh, crap start. Just coming on to the freaking banking. <laughs> Too fast. There we go. Slow it down. <laughs> Let's try this again. Don't hit the wall this time. 
This one you can take it in first gear. Uh, you see a little bit, just by clipping it, it's just freaking terrible. How do I do 158 on this? Uh, I'm not wheel, wheel hobby in, that's for sure. There we go, come on, do the S's. It's sort of me spinning so much. Up to the next carousel. And went wide, of course. Okay. And it is again. We will spinning on the exit to the. Oh, jeez. That does it. Okay. So, <laughs> Daytona World Course, even with the freaking... With the stock cars, even with the new chicane, it's challenging. Okay. I'm just... Okay, let me get my reviews on it. I'll show you how when I how I hit it right. <clears throat> Do I have damage? I don't know if 
something out. Can't tell. This is coming into it the first time. See, I hit just right like that. And then just click the other one a little. <clears throat> so what is that? And I did practice the same thing in the lap after. It's just stupid, that's all I can say. Last kind of day time practically just <clears throat> The reason why they did this is because they're put, trying to put in put these in basically like how the FIA did with uh, Formula One tracks and sports car tracks back in the day where it, they just added a bunch of chicanes it just to slow the cars down. It is why uh Daytona has a chicane on the back straightway is because back in the 80s they put that in to slow the cars down from the exit of turn one to the exit of the of the road court of the infield all the way around the super speedway back all the way back to T1. If anything, if you look at the speeds of what these cars are doing without the chicane. If you back the corner up, they it'd be just fine. There's no point in that being there, and basically you can't you can't even really pass it. At. I I even watched the the I racing series for NASCAR, and there's you barely even saw it passing. If it was, it was maybe for that car. That was it. There was no passing. There was no overtaking. It basically just... Because roughly with the speed with the draft, and you're basically going to see how these cars split split from one another. Like, trucks would be up in the 180s for sure. x would be in like roughly 190s, and then Cup would be maybe to close to 200 just before they hit T1 so you basically have to back it up between like the start finish line and one of the top lines for for around the triangle and you're expect and NASCAR is basically expecting these guys to go on this track basically blind not even knowing what the hell they're there to expect. Not even really know what the hell is going to happen in, in turn one. NASCAR's like, oh, let's just not give them any practice. Let's not give them any qualifying. Let's not give them any taste of the track besides a racing sim. That you don't know 100% what it's going to do to your real car. Especially now that they added these freaking massive curbs. These are in curbs. Like, what are these? Yes, that's got a lot more freaking curvings like how freaking Sonoma has it. It's basically what they're asking for, if anything. But it just, there's no point. 
the high downforce, if you give them a high downforce, and, and maybe restrict the engine, maybe restrict the engine, it'd slow them down a little bit more. Arca can get away, get away with it easy, because they don't, they don't know if you do like 170, maybe 180 with the draft. And plus the thing too, they're basically going in, going into this turn at 170, 180 miles an hour. And you expecting him to slow down on practically one of the worst places on the oval. This is in Charlotte. You're doing maybe about roughly 140, 150, maybe 160 to the, the last you can in that. And even with that, you can slow it down easy. Maybe there's some, and there's still some people who can who manage to overshoot it. These guys, you're going. 170, 180 plus, with with or without draft, expecting to slow down on a part that goes from banking to just smooth, to just flat. Like that makes total, that makes ton of sense. I don't know. It's just. Races this weekend, x ray is tomorrow from the day this is being recorded. It's just, I don't know. It's definitely not good, that's all I can say. Um, yeah. And, like I said, like I said earlier, I didn't even realize they changed, they updated it and changed the curbs. They were like the ones from Charlotte. They were like, the ones from Charlotte that they had saved, uh, that Daytona International Speedway told iRacing what they had for curbs. That, and they told them they were going to be like the ones from Charlotte. iRacing already put them in because they had them in for for the iRa iRacing version of Charlotte for the Roval. iRacing just had the measurements, put them in, and they had it. It was okay. And then they freaking switched it to this. I don't even know what these are. <coughs> These look like these little plasticky things you had in like gym class that you had to like walk around them or how, how you had for like bases and like kickball or some shit. It's just stupid. <clears throat> I don't know. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more cars, if you want to see me do drive more cars around the both versions of Daytona, whether it's NASCAR or whatever, uh, or if you want to see me do any other time trial with any car around any track, uh, just let me know. Uh, leave a like and enjoy. Leave a comment what you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel if you want more. And anyways, guys, I'll uh, leave you to it. Day twenty this weekend. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.